And we'll stick this. Little I went here. on a search to find these dangerous plants this across is what the, the GTA. The boots were for. <laughs> the muddy trail. Yeah. There's a tons in here. Oh, watch that hole. <laughs> Yikes. I headed out with invasive species technician Jeff Dickey to teach me how to identify these poisonous plants, but also to make sure I was safe while doing so. It didn't take long to stumble upon our first plant. This does have phototoxic chemicals in it. So if you were to get this on you or any of that juice, or let's say you're weed whacking and you splash it all over your legs and you don't wash it off immediately, you'll start to get blisters and they get worse and worse and more purple. The more sun it gets, the worse it gets. So there's smaller ones right here. This one's cow parsnip. Cow parsnip, yeah. So, so when I think of parsnip, I'm thinking of like the vegetable, yep, exactly. right? exactly, same family as well. Um, there's a larger one here. Oh, wow. So you can see too, it has like kind of like a maple leaf look to it. We won't get too close, but they can get up to about 30 centimeters in diameter. Cow parsnip has these sheaths where the leaves come out of and like a flat top. Once I mastered identifying the cow parsnip, Oh, is that one over there, the yep. big tall one? That's it. We headed 22 kilometers to Milton, Ontario. We'll probably see lots of it coming through here. Here we find our next invasive plant, the giant hogweed. The size alone tells you what it is and the giant flower heads as well. And then you have these huge leaves that just kind of take over. I'm so paranoid about getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Arms up. So here's some small ones right here. Oh, as I'm like stepping yeah, on them. If this is a baby, I can see how it being very similar oh, yeah. to any other small flower. Yep. As we walked around, we spotted a wild parsnip. Not to be confused with the cow parsnip. The key difference is... No hair. It's a little more smoother. The main ID features is the flat yellow umbrella-like cluster at the top. And like the other plants we identified... It's similar to poison ivy, but a lot worse and a lot longer mm -hmm. symptoms, so... Now that you know the key identification features, if you encounter any of these three plants, stay away. If found on your property, it's best to hire a professional exterminator. And if you are touched by one, wash yourself and your clothes immediately.